string guitar. I built a six string guitar, so when you pluck a string with all the nodes, whichever place you put your finger on the fretboard, the vibration travels through the guitar into the body. I made a PVC pipe marimba or a tubulum. I made a copper pipe xylophone, and so since you're physically hitting the note, it's causing the metal to vibrate and shake around the air that's inside of the tubes. And that's causing the waves to travel through the air at a constant velocity, which can be found using the formula V equals WF, or velocity is the wavelength times the frequency. Sir, I'm going to need you to come with me. Okay. Wizard, we need you to turn lead to gold, lead to gold, to fund Lord Roger Bacon's experiments. Can't you already do this? No, you do it. It's tiring. Water element plus fire element <laughs> equals philosopher's stone. Hi, I'm Brennan Garcia, and I'm representing my pre-cal group for the Poetry Slam Trigonometry Vocabulary Project that we were nominated for in pre-cal, which has been nominated for Best Use of Written or Spoken Word in a Project, as well as Best Use of Math or Science in a Project. We had, we had tons of fun doing this, and because we had to practice lines over and over again in order to be able to wrap them in front of people comfortably, we definitely learned the terms better than I think we would have otherwise if we had just read a poem. It was a success, a lot of people loved it, and I was called Brandy D. Tickle for the rest of the day. In a world filled with cheap knockoff mobile games that lack even basic pre-calculus, I set out to create something different. Flappy Emu! Yes, a mobile game in which phone users across the globe guide an emu through a treacherous polynomial equation. But this isn't any old polynomial equation. It's an equation so hideous, I had to have a computer create a best fit line for my original drawing. After a live presentation of the game in May of last year, the game was published to the Google Play Store as a free download, so everybody could enjoy the glorious combination of emus and calculus. I built a six string guitar, so when you pluck a string with all the nodes, whichever place you put your finger on the fretboard, the vibration travels through the guitar into the body, and in the resonating chamber there are air particles, and once you pluck a string, the air particles vibrate to a certain frequency, and that is the sound that you hear. I built a four string guitar, and the physics behind a guitar is that when you pluck the string, there are nodes at the nut and the bridge, in between that is half a wavelength. When you push your finger on the fretboard in any place, you're creating a node there, creating a shorter wavelength, and thus creating a, high, creating a higher sound. So I made a PVC pipe marimba, or a tubulum, and the way that it works is you cut the pipes different lengths, and depending on how short or long the pipe, how high or low the note is for the instrument. There's a node on either side of the open ends of the pipe, and because of this, the node, the wavelengths rather, are twice as long as the actual pipes themselves. I made a copper pipe xylophone, and so since you're physically hitting the node, it's causing the metal to vibrate and shake around the air that's inside of the tubes. And that's causing the waves to travel through the air at a constant velocity, which can be found using the formula V equals WF, or velocity is the wavelength times the frequency. Yeah.